Good morning YouTube! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of the Bikini 2023 prep series. If you're new here my name is Olivia and I am a bikini competitor, a posing coach and a lifestyle online coach and welcome back to my channel. Um, we are currently eight days out. Crazy, I know. Um, but that being said, it is a very, very, very busy weekend for me. Um, it's Saturday, by the way, Saturday the 9th of September. So tomorrow we will be seven days out, meaning peak week starts tomorrow. So I'm just going to give you a breakdown of how things have been going um, this week and what we are going to expect over the next few days and where this video is going to go. So first of all, I have gotten up this morning, I have checked in, I'm going to pop my check-in somewhere here on the screen and I'm just going to talk you through it. So let it play, I'm going to scooch over, let my check-in play and I'm just going to say I am very happy. Um, we already look so much better than we did last year. We did hit a new low this morning at 54.3. So we are looking to be in the 53s on stage, which is very good. It's lower than my last stage weight and I am already leaner than I was completely dried out at my final show last year. And this is only the first show. So very, very happy we've still got a glue pop. You know, the hamstrings haven't really come in yet and we have kind of accepted the fact that they won't for the first show. Um, hence why I'm going into this show with no expectations. I'm not going in expecting to win as you never should, in my opinion. You should just go in, enjoy the show. Um, you've done your best, you've done everything you could and there's nothing else you could have done. That's how you have to, have to think. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out there on that stage and I'm going to have the time of my life alongside some of my posing clients and some teammates. So it's going to be an amazing day anyway. But we are moving in a good direction. Um, how this week has gone? Not the best. I was very, very tired, but I did expect this week to be the hardest of them all. The week before peak week is always a grind and I did handle it like a champ, all I'm gonna say. Uh, but the temperatures in Ireland have been very high and my body doesn't react very well to that. My weight was going up all week. I'm very swollen and I'm holding a lot, a lot of water. So hopefully temperatures are supposed to cool down over the next few days and I will be running an Epsom bath tonight after training. So hopefully expel some of that water I've been holding. But what, how have things been? You know, I just got my update from my coach. We're not changing anything today. We are on to daily check-ins now. So I will pop back on tomorrow as well, just to let you know if there is any changes because peak week starts tomorrow. So we are not doing a proper peak week. I did mention that in my previous video, just because we don't want to be losing out on days leading into the next shows. So if we carb up for like two days straight, we could set ourselves back for the other shows, which are the more important shows. So I am eight days out right now, but I am four weeks and one day out from a very, very important show, which is my pro qualifier in Italy, the Amateur Olympia. And then a week after that, so five weeks from now, we do have PCA British Finals. So this is where we really want to come and peak. Those two shows is where we want to peak because they're the most important shows. They break because this is the only thing that keeps me going right now, this and coffee. I hear every competitor saying they're gonna give up after prep. I'm not because I love it. And yeah, I eat healthy, I train, one bad thing won't hurt. Um, but yeah. A very busy day today. I've gotten up at 6 a.m. this morning. I knocked out 45 minutes of cardio. So cardio is still at 60, so still 15 minutes left. Um, did all my client check-ins. It is currently 9 a.m. I need to get breakfast in soon and then I start three hours of back-to-back -back posing clients. So if you are looking to be posed by me, if you want to work with me, um, I teach bikini and wellness posing in PCA, NPC, your natural federations and IBB Elite. If you are looking to pose with me, my numbers are very much capped right now. Um, I am, I did open a waiting list for the months of end of October slash November. So if you do want to join that waiting list, make sure you head over to my Instagram and just pop me a message. I'll pop the name on the screen or you can just click one of the links in the description box um, that will lead you to my posing inquiry or my coaching inquiry if you do want to also join my team and be coached by me. That being said, um, yeah, busy morning, busy morning posing clients. Then we do need to head to the gym because once again, we are training through the whole weekend. Today is my last 
proper proper session from tomorrow we are starting reps in reserve sessions meaning we're just not going to be pushing to failure we are probably going to be doing the same exercises i don't really know yet um i'm probably going to get my plan tomorrow morning because i did say we are checking in daily but yeah today is the proper final proper session reps in reserve from tomorrow monday is a rest and i am looking to schedule a sports massage just to fix me up um, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, we go into some lighter sessions. Again, reps and reserve. We have a delts and glutes and a back session. Then a Thursday rest again because it is my final day at work and I just need time to get organized. Um, but I am off Friday then just to get everything else out of the way. So packing, food, you know, all of that. Obviously, I will take you along. Um, and then, a, yeah, then Friday is, I think, push pump. So the pump sessions. And then Saturday very early morning before we get on the roads to Northern Ireland, we are going to be doing the final glue pump. At that stage, we will be one day up from the show. So plan of action, I need to go eat and I need, to, I'm not doing a full day of eating because food has literally not changed. It might change tomorrow since we are starting peak week. So obviously I will show you then. Um, I need to get onto my posing clients. So I've got one at 10, 11 and 12 back to back at home online. And then we need to head into the gym for an upper body session. I don't think I'm going to film it because it's the exact same session I've done in my previous vlogs because Saturday is usually upper body day if I'm training. Um, then we're going to head back home and we are going to get into the interesting part of this video because I need to start packing today. I'm going to pack my show day bag today because there are things I probably won't be needing throughout the week and I can just pack them away in my tiny little backstage suitcase. So I will show you. I won't be showing food because I'm still waiting on a plan during the week. I'll probably find out Thursday what I need to buy and prep on Friday to bring with me on Saturday to Derry. So that will be for the next vlog, but I will show you all my backstage essentials today. So that is the plan of action. And then I did say I'm going to be running the Epsom bath tonight, which I'm very much looking forward to because my mom and her partner are going away for the weekend. My boyfriend is going to see his parents. I'm going to be all alone. I'm going to have some alone time, just reflect, chill in a bath with a bath bomb and bath foam and Epsom. And it's going to be amazing. So I'm going to leave it here. I need to go get breakfast in. Um, and I will probably catch you, to be honest, I'll either catch you right before the gym, um, just to tell you how things are, or I'll catch you at home when we are actually packing. I don't want to keep this video too long, if I'm being honest. Um, obviously the fun starts next week. I will probably start filming Thursday evening slash Friday, um, when we, when we know what's going on. Because right now there's just a lot of unknown. Um, I'm literally getting protocols on the daily. I check in in the morning. I always have my first two meals prepped with me for work. And then if he does make adjustments, it's usually from meal three to meal five. So I can pop home before training and change anything that needs to be changed. It's getting very real. It's getting very exciting. I am very excited to step on stage. I've worked very hard this year. And as I said, we already improved from last year and we haven't even stepped on stage. And that's all you can ask of yourself in this sport. Body building, it's about building your body. It's about improving your body from season to season. And we've already done that. And we still have four or five weeks to the big shows so, so plenty of time to really, really bring my best. But that being said, I need to go, I need to eat, I need to have another coffee and start teaching my beautiful posing clients. All my posing clients for today done. And I actually had two, three, sorry, really, really good sessions. And I just found out one of my posing clients, she's actually fairly new and she's not competing till next year. But we're just getting on so, so well. She decided to come and support me at my second show in Braywick. And she just bought her tickets. And I'm so, so excited to see her and meet her. But yeah, I had two very good sessions. I'm just about to get my pre-workout meal in. Three corn cakes, bit of peanut butter, bit of whey paste, coffee number three. And my boyfriend has just gotten some news from our coach. He is getting two high days while I am in the absolute trenches of prep. But it's okay. He's seen my high days when he was on lower food himself. And now it's time for him to get a bit of a refresh and a reset before he really digs deep. And he's going up to 60 minutes of cardio a day from Monday. How do you feel about your high days? Really happy. Why? Mm -hmm. It's a lot more food. I got 3000 calories on training day and then 2500 rest day. So yeah. I'm not even gonna tell the people that I'm on. People don't need to know how low my food is. <laughs> so bizarre. And you're starting a new job next week. I'm starting a new job next week. Yeah, but I'm on 60 minutes of cardio, so 
I'm gonna be crippled. Cry me a river. Mm -hmm. Two types of people. <sighs> I'm on 60 minutes of cardio. Or me. I'm on 60 minutes of cardio. Because I was pushing 90 before this. No matter how high your cardio gets, any reduction is just amazing. Like today, he went into the gym thinking he's doing 60 and then he found out he's only doing 30 during his high days and it just makes cardio so much easier. So what Mike has been doing with us this year, he is trying to push us that bit harder earlier in prep when the energy is still there, which makes sense. And then if we can, which we could, drop, drop the cardio, maybe up the food or give a refeed um, later in prep when the body really needs it. So... As I said, very busy day today. I'm just about to get my pre-workout meal in, head straight to the gym, get my session done, come home, eat again, prep for the day, and we are gonna start packing like I told you. So I'm not bringing you to the gym today just because I did say same session as I always do on Saturdays. So it's there on my vlogs for you to watch, but I just need to get those three corn cakes in, which will take me two minutes and head to the gym. Please don't mind my shaky hands if the camera is shaking. I have just finished training upper body. Um, did my cardio, the rest of my cardio on the Stairmaster and I did get in for a bit of posing. Very pumped up right now. Um, I was absolutely dreading the session. I'm not going to lie to you. Let me turn the light on. Um, just because this is my fourth session of the week, which is usually my last and I do have another leg day tomorrow. So obviously subconsciously I was kind of like, I don't want to train. I need to preserve energy for legs. But then I was like, no, we. this is my last proper session when I can push to failure. So we need to push it, camera away, phone away, get in, get it done. But the gym was so busy, um, which I didn't expect on a Saturday. On a Saturday, the gym is usually fairly quiet, but it was really busy. We still got it done. Um, less than 90 minutes, I think, which is good for an upper body session for me when I'm not procrastinating. And then, yeah, I did my cardio on the Stairmaster, got some shots in between, and I did get in for a bit of posing. I was going to film with my camera. That was the plan and when I got into the studio I completely forgot to whip my camera out um, because prep brain um, but I did get clips on my phone so I will insert them here because I am quite happy with my posing today. only issue I have I just for the love of god cannot open my back right now properly I don't know what it is I'm just very tense um I really do hope the Epsom bath will sort me out tonight I might whip out the massage gun as well depending what time my boyfriend gets back home tonight because he is going out for his dad's birthday dinner I will not be joining unfortunately because today is just too busy I am one week out and sometimes you just gotta say no to social occasions when you're in prep Earlier in prep, I would have gone, I would have brought my meal, but this close to show, I just kind of want to get home tonight. I don't want to be leaving the house late. I don't want to be coming back late. I just want to be at home. So right now, it is 3 p.m. Um, John and I, so John's at home, he's going to meet me in Costa for a post-workout coffee, as usual. See, normally we do train together on Saturdays. He did take a rest day today. He's training with me tomorrow because I really didn't want to train alone on a Sunday. So bless him, he took a rest day today to train with me on the Sunday. But he's still going to meet me for that mandatory Saturday Costa post-workout coffee. So yeah, I cannot wait to get home and eat. I'm absolutely starving today. Um, but... Yeah, that's what it takes. Posing clients are done for the day. Training is done for the day. Cardio and posing are done for the day. So the most intense part of the day is over and it's 3 p.m., which is very, very good for me. So yeah, plan of action, coffee, come home, eat my post-workout. I will show you my post-workout meal because it is very different to what it used to be. It used to be chicken and rice. Right now it's a little different, so I will show it to you. I still have to make it. But... Uh, and then yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go get packing. I did make a little list Obviously, I did pull out my show day checklist that I made that I told you about Also added a few bits in just kind of thinking what I bought and I put a list together of what I need to pack in my show day bag So when I get home and I eat and I chill for a little minute or two um, We can dive straight into packing my backstage show day bag. So Get excited because it's gonna be a good one. I really hope you find it helpful Um there is things you just wouldn't even think of bringing and I kind of want to clear that up for you. I want to make show day a little bit less stressful because as enjoyable as a show day is, it can get stressful. 
So having that list there, um, knowing you're not going to forget anything. Um, obviously, I can't pack everything today, but I will kind of mention things that I would also pack. And obviously, peak week next week, I am going to show you exactly what is in my bag next week before we hit the stage. Now, I did decide um, it's going to be two vlogs coming your way after these. Uh, we're going to do a two slash one day out vlog. I will not be filming all of peak week just because, as I said, I am working. I can't film at work. I get home very late. No point. But I will be filming on the Friday and the Saturday. So we're going to make those two slash one day out vlogs. And then you're going to get a whole show day vlog. And we're going to do that with every single show. And then between show number three and four, I actually have all this time off work. We're going to get a lot of videos out there. I'll probably do bonus videos for you and just a lot of content coming your way. So stay tuned. But for now, I shall see you in a, in a little bit. I'll either see you in Costa. Depends how busy it is or I'll just see you at home when I'm eating my post-workout meal. So I did say post-workout has changed a little bit since last time. We have no more carbs post-workout, but we still make it interesting because that is the key to enjoying your meal plan even when you're dieting and even when the food is so, so low. Make it interesting and make it appealing to the eyes and obviously tasty. So we've got chicken and mushrooms in the air fryer with this seasoning that I found in Aldi. It is absolutely amazing sriracha and sweet and sour um so yeah we have chicken mushrooms i have cut up a little bit of peppers one little baby tomato um a little bit of pickles and all of that is going to go into famous carefree tacos we got big romaine lettuce well not big i know they look big on camera they're actually really small leaves because they're at the end of the big thing so i'm doing three if they're big i usually just do two we've got a little bit of sauerkraut for that extra bit of digestion help alongside, as I mentioned, pickles, peppers, and one little tomato. Then this is the only meal where I allow myself to have a little bit of this. It is really low calorie. I just track it as part of my veg. Um, it's a salsa dip from Lidl, I believe. So we're going for mild today. We've also got spicy, but this is the only meal that I allow myself to have this because otherwise I would go ham and have it in every single meal. But I just do like a teaspoon, max two, into my tacos. And then alongside that, we're going to have 50 grams of pineapple just to help that protein absorption. Pineapple does have an enzyme that I cannot remember what it's called right now, but it helps to break down and absorb and digest protein. So plus it's a nice little sweet treat post training. It's funny how this now became a sweet treat, but it is what it is. Yeah, so normally when I use my big leaves, um, everything just perfectly fits in there and I can eat it. But today I just kind of had to put half of it on the side because I know they're just going to fall apart. But let me give you a taste test. You know, when you use your imagination hard enough, um, you close your eyes and you really let the imagination run wild. This is pretty much either a taco, if you want it to be a taco, or a burrito. Imagine like a soft wrap with rice in there and chicken and veggies and you pretty much have a burrito. Or a taco. This is whatever you want it to be. It is really good. I really do enjoy it. Next time I have rice. Next time I have rice in my meal plan, I am definitely doing this. I'm just gonna get a big leaf, gonna put the rice in there and the chicken and a bit of veg. Or imagine if I had some avocado, like guacamole on top. Mm. But for now, this will have to do. Sorry. As of right now, and for the next few days, I'd say, those three corn cakes that you saw pre-workout are my only caps for the day. Alongside my 50 grams of pineapple, even berries are gone. Yeah, diet is very plain right now. It's literally chicken, peanut butter, egg whites, turkey on a rest day. And that's pretty much it. Like I have, on a rest day, I have two chicken, two chicken meals, two chicken and egg white meals, one turkey meal. And then training day, we have two chicken, egg whites, peanut butter. We have one normal chicken meal post-workout, pre-workout corn cakes, and that's literally it. Diet is very plain. But we are very close to shows and we can't risk anything hurting my digestion. Like even this, we've brought veg down to 50 grams. I'm not really counting the lettuce. I don't track my lettuce. But the rest of the veg has been weighed out. It's only 50 grams. Um, it looks like a lot because I literally chop it up into tiny pieces. Because, fact, 
smaller the pieces of food, the more food. Same thing with my chicken. I don't know if you saw it on my plate. I'm gonna show you again. It seems like a lot of chicken between all of this, but we've been cooking our chicken. Not baking, not frying, not air frying, just cooking it and shredding it. And it literally doubles in volume. I use the same container for my meal prep at work and it's like a two compartment one. So I always put my chicken in one compartment because the peanut butter goes on it. But when I air fry it, I get about half of the height of it. But when I cook it and shred it, I literally fill it up to the brim. So shredded chicken is the way. And obviously you're not adding extra fry light and stuff like that. So that is a bonus. But John is there waiting to eat his oats. Let me show you his oats. So remember I said he's on a high day today. How much oats? 100. 100 grams of oats. I don't even remember what oats taste like anymore. When I carb up, we've just been sticking to rice and cream of rice because oats have been hurting my stomach. Just the deeper I wasn't prepped, but look at this bowl. And that's actually my oat bowl. I used to use this in my oats. 100 grams of oats, 15 grams of whey. How much berries? 100? 100. 100 and 20. And 20 nut butter. My meals are turning into yours. Enjoy. My meals are never like this before prep. They were so messy. Yeah, his meals are very pretty and voluminous now, meaning he is hungry. <laughs> so this is the current state of affairs in my living room, but I'm about to take you through what I'm going to pack in my backstage show day bag. Um, will you be able to see me like this? I had to grab a cushion because my ass is um, too bony right now to sit on the ground. Okay, what is in my show day bag? Excuse, we are going to be taking a few vape breaks here probably. I am absolutely starving today. It's not even funny. But this should take my mind off things nicely. Um, John is gone to his dad's birthday. Mom and her partner are gone away on a little trip and I'm all alone and I haven't been home alone in a while and I don't know what to do with myself. So I'm gonna get this filmed. And then I'm actually thinking of heading out on a little lonely walk because I haven't done that in a very long time and I haven't had the time to do that. And then obviously we are hopping into an Epsom bath later, 100%, I need it. But yeah, let's get this started. So first of all, can we appreciate my new cute backstage bag? So why this? Obviously you would have seen it in my previous vlog when I bought it alongside a big 20 kg, exact same it luggage, um, same color and everything, just a matching set when I go away on shows. Um, so I will be bringing the big suitcase with me as well. But today we're going to focus on things that I just pack in this because this comes with me backstage. Why a wheelie bag? A, just for ease, you don't wanna be carrying heavy stuff around when you're tired and you wanna preserve your energy for stage. But B, because you are gonna have your tan done and you don't want any straps like backpacks and duffel bags, you don't want them to ruin your tan. So wheelie bags are your best friend. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna pack away everything that I can pack away today that I know I won't be using until show day. And then I am just going to mention a few things. I've got a list on my phone. I'll grab it in a second in case I do forget anything, but I'm gonna mention some things that I'm going to bring, but obviously cannot pack just yet because A, I don't have them yet. Um, so like food really, or B, um, things I'll still be using. So yeah, let's get it started. So we've got the bag obviously. Um, so it's nice little, it's compartmentalized. So you've got one compartment here. Then you've got this thing, which will be very handy for like smaller things. And then you've got another big, big compartment. So I'm just gonna show you everything one by one and I'm just going to pack it away into the suitcase. And then I'll probably just show you at the end what it actually looks like in the suitcase. So we're kind of gonna go in order of events. <clears throat> so I'll say the night before and the morning of show day, you are getting your tan done. So you need black loose fitted clothing. Um, a, to be comfy, B, something that will not stick to your skin and potentially ruin your tan, and C, black, because any other color could react with your tan and your tan tur could turn a different color. So this year, um, I usually do a onesie, but um, I sleep in the same clothes that I tan in just because there is no point putting on fresh clothes or anything like that, and I just find I sweat a bit too much in, um, in a onesie, and right now Ireland is just too warm for that, and next weekend is not gonna be much cooler than this. So we're going in with a big oversized t-shirt and I'm probably just gonna go with some like PJ satin shorts underneath. Um, but I'm going in with my big oversized gasp t-shirt that was always oversized, but now I literally swim in it. It's a dress, so it will work perfectly. To be honest, even if I just wanna wear underwear underneath, 
nobody will know I'm not wearing pants because it is massive. And the reason I can pack it away now, because A, Ireland is way too hot to be wearing this material right now, and B, my boyfriend is known for stealing this top off me for cardio, but if it's packed away in my suitcase, he cannot steal it and I won't have to worry about washing it like a day before the show when I realize um, he's taken it for cardio. So, big oversized tanning clothes in the bag. Um, alongside the tanning clothes, you want um, footwear that's gonna be very comfortable, um, something, ideally something soft, um, just comfortable, you wanna be comfortable. Obviously you don't want any tight shoes and socks as well, just to not ruin the tan, as I said. So we are going to go in with black memory foam slippers. They're brand new, I haven't worn them yet. I got them in Primark or Pennies, wherever you are, UK or Ireland, Pennies in Ireland, Primark in the UK, same thing. But they're memory foam, so they're gonna be very comfortable. So I'll be wearing them to get my tan done. I'll be wearing them after I get my tan done and I'll be wearing them backstage until it's time to put my heels on. So since we're on the topic of tanning, and we're still kind of one day out. Um, we're gonna go in with two little essentials. So first of all, I'm bringing my own shower cap this year because um, they give you like a disposable one in the tanning place, but I just kind of want to have my cute, cute own shower cap and I can just save it for all the shows, just wash it in between. Um, especially for my second show, I am planning to go in with curly hair this time. So I'll probably just curl up my hair, pop it in the shower cap so it doesn't get ruined when I'm getting my tan done. But this is not a necessity. They do give you disposable shower caps um, at the tanning place. And then obviously the most important thing when you get your tan done, not even the clothes, it's peeing. You cannot ruin your tan with streaks. Now, don't get too stressed about it either. If you do get a streak down your leg after your base coat, the top coat will cover it. However, once you have your top coat on, you wanna be very careful. So what I've used up until this year was pee cups. So, just cups, just paper cups. I cut out the bottom, I pee through the cup. But this year, I decided to invest in a shiwi. I've seen so many people use it and I wanna give it a try myself. So yes, I will try it before show day. I wanna see how it works. I wanna see how it feels to be a man. But it's a cute little pink one off Amazon. I think I got it for about six quid. Comes in a little waterproof bag as well. So obviously when you do use it and you wash it out, you can just pop it in there and you don't risk anything getting ruined, you know? What else for tanning? One more thing for tanning is, I just got this with a DIY kit I had before, um, just a little mitt. So if I am backstage and you know, I get a little streak or a little patch somewhere, I can just kind of patch myself up just in case. Doesn't hurt to have it, you know? Um, we're still kind of on the travel side of things. Um, I got a load of just empty container for toiletries. So this essentially probably will not be going backstage with me, but I'm still just gonna pop it in the suitcase so I don't forget I have it and I don't forget to fill it up with like my shower gels, my skincare and all of that. Same thing with makeup and hair, obviously all of that is going with me. And that is one thing I cannot pack right now. So backstage, you're going to need probably a little bit of makeup just for touch-ups, like obviously you'll get your makeup done in the morning. So, you know, have maybe some powder if you start to get a little sweaty or, you know, a little greasy, have some powder to pat it in. Um, what I like to do is, even though I get my makeup done with makeup artists, I always bring my own lipstick. So then when I'm backstage, I can just top up my lipstick with the exact same one they used. Um, you want to have some hair stuff, obviously bring your hair brushes, um, bring a straightener just in case or a curler if you're curling your hair. There's always going to be a place backstage for you to plug it in and just do a little touch up because the same thing, you'll be getting your hair makeup done early in the morning and sometimes you're not on until very late so obviously if your curls, they'll drop. If you have straight hair, they could go frizzy or curly so it doesn't hurt to have your hair styling products and tools with you. Yeah, so a bit of makeup, a bit of brushes, your hair stuff, and you're good to go. You really don't need much more than that backstage. Next thing you want to have backstage. Now, this is purely backstage now. Um, you want to have... Actually, first things first, the most important thing you're bringing with you backstage is obviously your bikini, your heels, 
and your jewelry, okay? Obviously, I do not have my bikini in here because A, I am not showing it to you, and B, um, I've been wearing it for my check-ins, which you would have seen this morning, so that check-in was in, definitely in black and white. But I do have my jewelry packed away. So the box is from Center Stage Suits, which is where I got my bikinis this year. So I'm just gonna pop my bikini in there um, alongside all my jewelry, so everything is one in one place. So we've got two pairs of earrings. I like a long set of earrings. We've got a load of bracelets, some new ones, some I wore last year. We've got some rings in there somewhere too, just plain, just plain diamante um, rings. So that's all my jewelry. Obviously my bikini will go in there, a spare bikini as well. If you do have a spare bikini, bring it with you because you never know what's going to happen. And on that note, if something does happen, it is not a bad idea to invest in a little emergency sewing kit. So I just have a few threads in here. There's like, they're already needles that are threaded and it's just one long strand of thread. So it's like one use thing, it's not reusable. Um, obviously you can read the needles, but you don't have more thread in here, but it just has some basic colors like white, black, green, blue, and pink so this will be handy just in case any material kind of separates or anything if you just need a little touch up it's good to have a little sewing kit with you backstage and you never know someone else might need it so it's always good to have have these kind of things um then on the top i've got backstage obviously as i said bikini jewelry and your heels if you have a spare pair of heels bring it with you doesn't hurt if your strap breaks or anything um or maybe if somebody else you know, breaks their heels or forgets their heels, you're there to help. Um, I'm all about helping other girls backstage, even if it's just giving them some bikini bite or bikini tape. Um, there's actually one more thing that I don't have in here. It's bikini tape or bikini bite, which is like bikini glue. Sometimes your bottoms could be a bit loose, so it doesn't hurt to kind of tape it down or something just to make sure they don't move on stage. But obviously these are my heels this year. They are the Goddess Olympians from Shoe Fairy and they are the most comfortable pair of heels I've ever owned. I'm known to go strapless uh, on stage, however this year I decided to give straps a go. I'm still going to bring my cocktails with me, which are strapless, as I said, just in case. So the heels can go in for now, I will be taking them back out for checking tomorrow. Um, the jewellery and the sewing kit in here and as I said my bikini will also go in there. Then obviously backstage as well, on top of your bikini you want you want to cover up backstage sometimes it can be chilly backstage and i just know being a girl i don't like walking around in a bikini all the time so a plain satin satin is quite important or silk or whatever you want to call it as i said it's loose it's flowy it's airy and it will not react with your tan so this is actually victoria's secret i also have a red one that says olivia like with crystals in the back that i wore last year However, it's red and I'm gonna be honest, it will clash with my bikinis this year. So I'm not gonna wear it. I'm just gonna go for plain black um, robe from Victoria's Secret. And we've got, um, I have a tripod here. This is just a tripod from Amazon, it extends. I like to have a tripod backstage if I wanna film my posing, if I wanna film some videos, take some pictures of people. It's always handy to have a tripod. Um, what else do I have here? So I'm onto my last thing that I actually have here. And then after that, I'm just gonna mention a few things that I'm going to bring that I just can't pack right now. Nails. Now, most of us get our nails done. If you do get your nails professionally done, gels, um, I would still recommend bringing a packet of stick-on nails. You could break your nail, you could lose a nail, and you're gonna be stressing about it. So just get some nails, get some glue, have it with you in your show day bag. You probably won't use it, but if you need to, they're there. And this year I'm actually using stick on nails as a whole anyway, because I work in a clean room. So that means I'm not allowed to wear makeup at work. I'm not allowed to have false eyelashes or false nails. So I'm just, you know, I won't have time to be getting my nails done and then removed and then getting done again and then removed again, going in and out of work between shows because I am in and out of work between shows. So I'm just gonna go stick on. I've got a few pairs. I've got these just plain ombre and I can always jazz them up with like glitter nail polish. I've got like a glitter ombre and I've also got a little pink, clear and silver 
ombre and I've also just gotten some extra nail glue even though I know these come with nail glue but I just got another nail glue just in case and just a new set of files in case I want to file my nails down beforehand or file the actual nails if they're a bit too long. So this can go in the bag and that is literally all I have. I know the bag is very messy I'm going to show it to you but this is kind of how I'm planning on packing everything. So I've got my bikini and jewellery in here, rope and heels. Obviously the toiletries and stuff will go in my big bag so this space will be free. Then we've got all the nails, the files, the tripod. I'm probably just going to put all of that into those little compartments. And then on this side, I've got all my pre-stage pre stuff. My slippers, my shower cap, my shiwi, my tanning mitt. And I've got the big tanning oversized t-shirt underneath. So this will all pack away nicely and I can just wheel it around backstage. What a break. Got a new banana flavor and it's amazing. So I was gonna pull up the list on my phone. As I said, I do have a personal show day checklist that I made for my posing girls. So we're just gonna go into that right now. And we're going to see what else I completely forgot. And I already remember one thing that I forgot and it's upstairs, but I'm too lazy to go get it now, so I'm not going to. But that is pump up bands. Before you go on stage, um, you want to get a little pump in, fill up the muscles, you know, you are going to be eating carbs backstage before you step on So you want to make sure the carbs go to the right places You get a nice pump and your muscles look nice and full going on stage So pump up bands. I just got a set of Amazon literally just those like rubber resistance bands I might bring a booty band as well if I want to do kickbacks and so I got a whole set of them but um, my advice to you is to only bring one with you especially if you have more than one show a, there's always going to be some laying around backstage, even if you forget yours, people will always share. But you're pumping up backstage right before you go on and then you hear that you have to go on, you dump the resistance bands on the ground and it never makes it back home with you. So I have four shows, my boyfriend has two shows and we have one pack of resistance bands. So we are all going to bring just one band to each show and then by the end of all the shows, we probably will have none left anyway. But if I just bring them all to my first show, I'm gonna have to buy a new set for every single show and I refuse to do that. So one band will do you, um, maybe one mini band, um, and there will be things lying around backstage. There's gonna be bands laying around backstage, there's gonna be mini dumbbells laying around backstage. So nothing to worry about, even if you do forget yours. So let's look at my list. We've got bikini, heels, jewelry, pump-up bands, nails, makeup and brushes, like I mentioned. Sewing kit, yes. Slippers, yes. A small mirror, that's something I actually forgot. So alongside your makeup and your hair stuff, obviously bring a small mirror with yourself just so you can see yourself when you're doing these things. Or if you have your tripod, you can pop your phone into the tripod, put the camera on and just use your phone. Um, tanning clothes we've got, shiwi we've got. Um, cutlery, plastic cutlery, plastic cutlery, plastic plates. Um, you are going to be eating backstage, like I said, you don't want to be eating off the ground. So, so what I do, I don't really bother with the plates and stuff. I just bring one box of Tupperware with a lid and I just use the lid. Um, and then any little bits can go in the box when I'm bringing them backstage. I'll get into food in a second. Um, a cushion, that's something actually I completely forgot. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit in there. We'll see, I can always just carry it around in my hand. I do like to have a cushion or a little blanket or something backstage that I can sit on because half the time you are sitting on the ground. So it's good to have something that you can just pop your booty down on, you know? Um, cushion, hair stuff I've mentioned. So going back to the cutlery and food. So you want to have a plate or a Tupperware, like I said, to weigh out your food on. You're going to need your food scale, obviously, to weigh because like your coach could be with you backstage or he'll be sending you messages, whichever it is. It'll literally be like, you know, 10 minutes before you go on stage, you're like, look, hey, Olivia. Four, corn, four rice cakes, four corn cakes, whatever, 20 grams of peanut butter, 10 grams of dark chocolate, 20 grams of jam, 10 grams of honey, go. So you need to have your scales with you, okay? Um, my advice to you for things like honey, peanut butter, and jam, if you can, get squeezy tubes. So you literally just pop it on, you know? Um, and you won't have to worry too much about um, playing around with jars and knives and all of that, so. But yeah, foods to bring with you backstage, this will all depend on who coaches you. But from experience, um, I always need rice cakes, caramel rice cakes, jam, peanut butter, honey, dark chocolate, squares bars, 
and jellies. Sometimes we do pop a few jellies before um, we go on. Salt also depends on your coach. It's handy to have one of those mini scales, the little drug dealer scales. You can get them on Amazon because they weigh everything like in point of a gram rather than just like, you know, your normal food scale probably won't really catch the amount you're putting on it unless it's over two grams usually. So it's handy to have that mini scale for your salt. Um, bring electrolytes and water. The first thing when you do backstage, do not go diving into your cookie box. Dive into your water and your electrolytes. I always bring a small bottle of water or even two because sometimes we do introduce like 100 ml portions of water with my meals. So I always bring two small bottles of water and I bring electrolytes that I can just dissolve in one of the bottles and that is the first thing that you have post show. I think that pretty much covers it. Obviously next week we are going to be doing the official pack um, for show day. So I'll probably catch you next Friday when the show day bag is fully packed. And then Saturday morning before we leave the house, just with any last minute bits we're going to put in there. Obviously, I still don't know what I'm eating coming up to show. I don't know kind of what supplements I'll need with me backstage. That's also something that might have to go in my bag, supplements. And obviously things like headphones. You wanna have headphones backstage. Sometimes you might be waiting around for an hour, even two hours before going on stage. Have your earphones, pop your favorite music on or whatever gets you in the zone and just kind of chill out on your cushion. Um, but yeah, headphones, bring a charger, bring a portable charger if you can. As I said, you could be backstage for hours. Um, what else? Let me go back into my list. I'm terrible. My prep brain today is just, I honestly don't even know how I'm finding the energy to talk to you this much today. But let me tell you, I'm probably going to crash right after this. I'm not ignoring you, by the way. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Okay, I nearly remembered everything. I'm not too bad. Um, there's two things I forgot, Vaseline. So most of us competitors um, go on stage fairly dehydrated and sometimes your lips can get a bit sticky. So just pop some Vaseline on your teeth and your lips won't stick. Disgusting, I know. And very unhealthy, but it is what it is. And the last thing I forgot is your athlete badge. Obviously you will be registering for your show the night before. Don't forget your badge. It's every competitor's worst nightmare. Please do not forget your badge. So what I do is I register the night before or the day before. I come back to the apartment, hotel, whatever, and the badge goes straight into my backstage bag. Put a reminder in your phone for the night before the show. Your badge goes straight into your backstage bag and that way you just can't forget it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you find it useful. Obviously, we will be kind of doing another run through next week. I won't do it this long, obviously. I will just kind of show you my bag all packed and what's in there and maybe just show you the extra little bits that I put in there. But yeah, this is pretty much everything for today for me. Um, I will pick the camera back up tomorrow after my check-in because I'm probably gonna get a little plan of what's to come for the next few days because we are one week out tomorrow. Peak week starts tomorrow. So yeah, I'm very tired now. But I think I will head out for that little walk, maybe get a drink or something. Obviously, I have pretty much cut down on sweeteners to almost zero. But I think I need one final little treat of a Pepsi Max cherry before I really cut sweeteners out for the next five weeks. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And the weather is just so lovely. I'm going to pop on a crop top because I don't like walking around like this. I walked into Costa like this earlier and I got some dirty looks. So that's Ireland for you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go for a little walk and then I'm gonna come back home. I'm gonna turn the hot water on and I'm going to hop into a bath. I've got bath bombs, I've got some bath foam and bath soak and two and a half kilos of Epsom salt, Epsom salts. So I really hope that does help me expel some of the water I've been holding because I have to say I look very lean from the front, like I've veins all down my arms but my back. My back, my hamstrings, my glutes, just the whole back of me is very, very watery and I could really see it in my check-in today and when I was posing after training. So I've also upped the water today. Like I've been drinking about six liters every day with this heat and you see this amount of water here? When I get through this, that's six liters today. And obviously I will probably chug down a whole liter after an Epsom bath because you're so thirsty after one. So today we'll probably be about seven liters. No harm, that's one way to expel water is by drinking. Some people don't understand that. 
when um, when your body is holding on to water, it just means it's not getting enough. Same thing with the hot weather, your body is holding on to water to cool you down. So the more water you give it, it's going to start expelling that water. And that's kind of how one day out for me usually looks as well. Like we water load a day before the show until about 5, 6 p.m., depending what time I'm on stage the next day. Then we cut water completely. But since my body is used to drinking so much water, it keeps expelling the water and that's how you dry out. There's no crazy protocols for me. We do not touch diuretics. The only thing that does give us a little bit of a boost is Peak Max, which is, it's a supplement from Strom that just kind of helps you peak your physique. It has some natural diuretics in there like dandelion root and caffeine and B6, B12 and vitamin C. So two years ago before Peak Max came out, we used to take that um, separately. I used to have to get chewable, chewable because I'm not drinking water. Um, chewable B12, B6 or B complex ideally vitamin C and caffeine tabs so it's nice to have a supplement that kind of does it all in one now it is pricey but it just makes things so much easier you don't have to think about taking a million supplements you just get a message from your coach with your food and it's like okay two peak maxes with this meal then check in then two peak maxes with that meal and then check in and yeah I honestly cannot wait for next week I cannot wait for Friday morning or even Thursday afternoon when I get out of work and it's just show day mode then you know last training sessions, grocery shopping, shaving, exfoliating. Obviously I did cover that in my previous video. If you wanna click back and watch that one, I tell you all about my skin prep for getting show day tan. So I'm not gonna get into that too much, but Thursday, no, Friday will be hair wash and body shave day and cooking and final training sessions, meal prepping and just packing the rest of my stuff. And I cannot wait. It's actually, um, we were kind of looking at our memories in our phones with my boyfriend and this weekend last year was when I first competed last year, uh, my first show of the season last year. So it's been a whole year since I've been on stage. Um, the time, I don't know where that time went, honestly. It feels, this is honestly the quickest prep ever. It's one of my longer preps. Like normally we do 20 weeks till show number one. Right now we are about 21, 22 weeks into prep next week. And it feels like the shortest prep of them all, even though it was actually the longest. And obviously I still have five weeks to go, six weeks to my photo shoot. Because, oh, I forgot to tell you, I booked a photo shoot with my boyfriend with Stephen Black Photography in Northern Ireland. So we're gonna have a little couple shoot. I will be one week post show and John will be one week out from his show. So we're being crazy lean. I just have a memory of this time together, which is gonna be crazy. You know, I never thought I'd be someone that does this. I never thought I'd be prepping with my partner. It's it's crazy you know but yeah we're gonna go for a walk we're gonna hop into a bath and I will probably catch you tomorrow after I check in with my coach and he ordered an outdoor check-in tomorrow and I don't start posing till 11 tomorrow rather than 9 a.m. like today so I'll actually manage to get outside for a check-in when it's bright because I got up at 6 today and it was still pitch dark so I'm getting up about 7 half 7 tomorrow so I'll actually be able to check in outside so yeah, we don't have a lot of food left today. All I have is chicken and peanut butter and then chicken, egg whites and peanut butter. So yeah, food is nearly done for the day. Two small meals to go. I'm very hungry. So I am just gonna go kill some time, go for a walk, get deep in my feels. I know well I'm going to be deep in my feels in that bath today about show day because it still hasn't hit me that I'm competing next week. And I know once I get that alone time without a camera, without anyone in the house, it's really going to hit me, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that walk now. It is 5 p.m. right now. I'm hoping to be back home for six o'clock so I can turn the water on because uh, it needs about an hour to heat up. And then hop in that bath and just chill out for the rest of the evening because I have a very busy Sunday tomorrow. So I need to be rested. And I do hope, I do hope I'll get a new low tomorrow. But we'll see. We're not stressing about it. I'm gonna stop rambling now. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> So, yeah, I do have a few things to apologize to you for. First of all, it is currently 6 p.m. on Sunday. I know I was supposed to come on a little earlier to chat to you today, but I'm going to be honest, I am absolutely exhausted today. I'm so hungry that I literally feel sick. My stomach is in absolute bits, and I just think I took on a bit too much today. I had four hours of back-to-back -back posing, then we trained legs, which was my fifth session of this week, and I've been used to training four over the last while. We had 60 minutes of cardio, 
So I think I took on a little bit too much and we still have my hair to dye today. So it's it's a very long day. Not ideal before going back to work tomorrow, but it is what it is. Um, apology number two. I did film this outro already, but I forgot to press record. My prep brain today is, is real. But we are seven days out today. Peak week has officially begun, even though we're not doing a proper peak week. But peak week has begun. I have got my protocols for the next two days. So right now it's pretty much daily basis. You know, we check in, we get our pro protocols. See, I can't even speak. Um, but there's been no changes today. We did hit a new low, like I hoped, after the Epsom bath. I felt great after it. We hit 54 kilos this morning. So just for reference, I was 50 four and a half last year on stage for my final show so we are 54 one week out from the first show so we're doing very well um yeah no changes to food today cardio is still at 60 tomorrow is kind of where the changes happen so we are doing a little bit of a fat load approach so protein has dropped and fats have increased so i pretty much just have 20 grams of nut butter with every meal um, carbs will not be going in for a good few days. It's probably Friday. We're going to see a little bit of carbs go in. Um, but obviously I will be filming that for you when the time comes. So no changes today. Cardio will start dropping from tomorrow, which is amazing. A bit more sleep will do me good. So we're down to 45, then 45, then 30, then 20 on Thursday. And then Friday we are done cardio until post show, which is going to be amazing. But yeah, I'm going to pick the camera back up Thursday evening slash Friday, Saturday. And we're going to start filming those two day slash one day out clips. It's going to be exciting. I'm going to show you my food. I'm going to show you everything I am doing in preparation for leaving for my show. And obviously when we get to Northern Ireland, because we still will be one day out then. And we'll be getting my base coat of tan and everything like that. We'll be checking in with my posing girls, some in-person check-ins with the girls that are competing at the same show. So it's going to be exciting, it's going to be busy, um, but I am just exhausted. I need to get this video edited and get my hair done and hop into bed. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you do stay tuned for the next Peak Week vlog and then the Show Day vlogs. So yeah, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. Um, it really means the world to me. And make sure you head over to Instagram and TikTok and follow me. And I shall see you in the next video. Ciao!